Hey, this is June from Zeppelin. Today, I'm super excited to share that we rebuilt the Figma integration from the ground up to fix critical performance issues and introduce new features. Let's hop into a demo and check out what's new. To get started, let's go over to our Figma desktop app, but you could use a web browser as well. On the left-hand side, you can navigate down to the plugin section and click on Browse All Plugins. From here, we can search Zeppelin and install the plugin. Let's jump into a project to see the new Zeppelin plugin in action. Here's an iOS travel app, and let's say I want to export these new guides frames into Zeppelin. First, let's right-click and navigate to Plugins, and you should see Zeppelin now as an option. Once you click on Zeppelin, there's a pop-up that states, Select Frames or Components to Export into Zeppelin. Now you can select the guide frames and notice that you can see how many frames you have selected in the pop-up. A little reminder here, make sure you have the Zeppelin desktop app installed before you export from Figma. Let's hit the blue export button. Once Figma finishes exporting, the Zeppelin desktop app is prompted open and you can decide which organization and project you want to export into. For this demo, let's put these guide frames in our travel app. One thing to note is that Zeppelin automatically exports your colors and textiles whenever you export a frame from Figma. We'll check out where the colors and textiles are in Zeppelin a little bit later. Now that we have our frames, colors, and textiles in Zeppelin, let's bring in the rest of our components from Figma. Let's head back into our travel app in Figma and navigate over to the mobile symbols page from this left-hand panel. Here are some new control components that were added. We can repeat the same process as before and open Zeppelin, select all these new control components, then export into Zeppelin. Once in Zeppelin, notice that the new control components have been added. We can now organize them by selecting the components, then creating a new section from selection. Let's call this section Controls. We can also bring in our textiles and colors here as well. From the panel on the left, I can go to the textile catalog and add in all my textiles. We could do the same for colors too. Let's hop back into our screens and go into our guide frame. When we select this book choice button, the developers and the designers in the room will know right away which textiles and colors are used. Zeppelin even highlights that we're using a reusable component here. Notice that when we select the icon down here, Zeppelin also provides an asset based on your project type. You only need to mark your master components exportable, and Zeppelin will take care of the rest. Now that we have our projects and design system in one place, Zeppelin becomes a source of truth for the whole product team. Apart from all these features, the new integration also fixes a ton of performance issues. As Zeppelin grew over time, so did our users and their projects became more and more complex. That sometimes led to timeline issues when exporting from Figma to Zeppelin. We worked really hard with the Figma crew and now you can export out of Figma no matter how big your project is. We're really excited about the future of this plugin. Let us know if you have any feedback in the comment sections below. See you in the next one and take care.